Hi guys and welcome back to Crypto Chester. I'm here today to give you an update on FTM. We're going to be breaking FTM from a breaking it, breaking it down from a fundamental perspective because FTM has had some uh, quite big news coming about uh, potential migrations happening. Okay, so we're going to be breaking FTM down from a fundamental perspective and then we're going to be going into the chart for a nice technical analysis review um, as usual. Okay, so FTM is a layer one blockchain. Okay, people are using this to, to essentially build on it. But um, one thing that I do really want to cover is the migration today. Okay, so FTM is currently migrating to the token called, well, the ticker is S. Okay, and it actually stands for, um, it stands for, where is it? <laughs> Here we go. It stands for Sonic Chain S token. Okay, so we'll be going through uh, Sonic Chain very, very shortly. But I just want to touch on some facts about FTM for now. To start us off, um, transactions are super, super low, zero, zero point, well, less, it's, it's one cent on average, which is uh, very, very good and finalizing within a second. But you can see they only process 2000 transactions a second, okay, which is still a lot of transactions, right? But um, it's one of the main reasons they are moving over to um, to Sonic here because uh, they, they're going to be cheaper fees, faster transactions and uh, easier for developers to actually build on chain okay so that's one of the reasons why they are moving over it is a high performing blockchain already don't get me wrong but um the new song chain is evm compatible and that essentially means that um, someone that is building something on ethereum can simply copy and paste the code and deploy it on um, on the sonic chain as well right which is um super important here um when when it's in in the, in the competitive space for for blockchain and um, hosting projects and the d the developer side of things and we can see that with with solana for example like some projects have moved from ethereum over to solana just primarily due to the speed of the blockchain and also the gas fees as well so ftm is doing the same sort of thing to speed up transactions by moving over to sonic okay so let's go into sonic and let's see what we actually need to know here uh, before we get into the technical technical analysis side of things and you can see here on the 1st of august they announced their transition to sonic labs okay and what does this mean okay so sonic labs is a new layer one platform with a secure gateway to ethereum and provides the fastest settlement layer for digital assets with over 10,000 transactions per second okay so remember ftm currently has 2000 it's basically a 5x uh, which is pretty good on transactions per second and um, also still one second confirmation times for transactions to be completed okay which is super super fast right if you think about like ethereum you're sending ethereum or just um any token on on the erc20 chain here you can you the, the transactions take a little while for block confirmations and stuff like that right so you can see one second confirmation times super super beneficial here for sonic chain so definitely um coming into the competitive space here uh, for uh, for layer one blockchains i think uh, ftm and sonic are really gonna have a good run at things and that's probably why we are seeing ftm seeing um see some nice price action here over the last uh, couple of uh, weeks and months or so now um let's have a little look at uh, what another thing we need to know here they can actually expect changes to the supply here right so if we look at um if we look at FTM currently on a CMC, if we just get to that quickly, we can look at the supply. We can do it really fast on this video. We can look at the supply here and um, essentially that will um, essentially increase, right? So that's another reason why they're probably uh, moving over. They're slightly changing their tokenomics. There will be a one-to-one -one exchange um, valuation from uh, Phantom to Sonic, which shouldn't be a problem here for um for a lot of phantom holders because they can just exchange it over to sonic quite easily the s token but they will be having probably less circulating supply here um on the market it won't affect the price it will just um just affect the uh, the internal tokenomics of the projects just in general right so um definitely something to really really be looking out for there when um when when we do see this update coming through right and as, as i said earlier yes the sonic chain is fully evm compatible allowing any developer any app developed de any app developed for other evm chains to be deployed on the on sonic without any changes to their code which is super bullish guys because if this if this is going to be one of the top performing blockchains um in the world then it kind of makes sense for projects that are kind of stuck on ethereum paying gas fees and all that other stuff right um or high gas fees and uh, slow transactions it makes sense for them to migrate over to um a faster blockchain a cheaper blockchain and um a blockchain like ftm is 
is is reputable in the space, right? It's got a, got a strong reputation behind it. So um, the security factor is there as well. Just a little list of uh, layer one blockchains for you guys there. You can see uh, Ethereum, BNB, Solana, XRP, Dogecoin, Tron, Toncoin, Cardano, Avalanche. Just to, just, to, just to name a few, you can see these are a lot of coins that you probably do recognize. FTM right now is actually a uh, priced considerably lower than a lot of them, okay? And you can see they're priced... Um, was it 20 27th okay on the on the list here with only a market cap around 1.2 billion dollars okay so that is super low um in comparison to other layer one chains and uh with this um expansion um into the the sonic uh, blockchain the sonic labs brand with the um with the new features and, and they're just kind of upgrading everything it does sort of pose the idea that FTM or, or and Sonic will be currently underpriced, okay? If they are upgrading everything, they're gonna be underpriced asset in comparison to other chains. It's just what is actually gonna be built on FTM. Those are the things that we're gonna have to track, okay? So a couple of cool things there about um, Phantom moving over to Sonic. Definitely some information for you guys to digest there. And uh, if you have found any value so far in this video, make sure you drop the drop a little like here. Um, it's completely free to do so, and it does help out the channel. Without further ado, let's get straight into, um, actually, before we do that, if you guys are looking for ex exchanges, um, I know that uh, we do have um, Prime XBT sponsoring this video, but um, Prime XBT doesn't actually work in um, in the US. Okay, a lot of US US uh, users are actually having trouble signing up to that exchange. So we've got another one now um, called. Uh, KSEX exchange here. You can sign up with a link in the description if you're looking for a non-KYC exchange that you can use in the UK, the US, and uh, a lot of other places around the world. It's pretty, pretty good um, international, and uh, there's uh, some rewards as well that you can get involved with. So I'll leave a link in the description for you there. And if you are, and if you're not signed up to uh, Prime BTC, Prime XBTC already, then <laughs> Prime XBT, then, um, then you can do so in the link in the description as well. And you can see there's many, many rewards that you can get your teeth stunk, sunk into as well. But um, you will have to KYC if you are in the US or the U US or the UK, right? Okay, that's done. Let's get straight into the chart here and let's have a little look at FTM and see how it's been performing here over the last sort of... Um, few three four days or so okay so we can basically take the low of august the fifth i mean a lot of assets dumped around that time and from there we have seen a quite a nice bit of a rally in terms of progression nothing too crazy in my opinion right now if we're taking this um this uh, micro downtrend into account obviously we've got our high we've got our low we've got our lower high we break this low confirming this lower high and then we have another pullback this would be another lower high because we broke this low another pullback break this low so the lower high um, for this trend is currently here. And that means in the most recent price action for uh, FTM here, it means that we have actually just exploded over that lower high, which um, does indicate trend reversal here, micro trend reversal. And if we are looking at the sort of the macro here, we're still bullish on the macro just coming down and we tapped that, um, that higher low um, macro market structure there. So um, overall guys, it's still actually in a bullish market stance and uh, essentially looking like it's going to have a big reversal here um, for this trend to the upside with obviously all the good news as well in terms of the migration. Now, in terms of the breakout scenario that we are seeing here, guys, we have seen um, quite a lot of upwards momentum. Only naturally the next few days um, have been downside. But if we do come down and wick down to around 54 cents, this is the buy the hell out of this asset, in my opinion. Um, it's going to be a lovely, lovely bounce off the four hour volume weighted ATR band. We've got that market structure point there as well. We know there's support here previously, as you can see here, and um, you can see we're just generally changing direction in the trend as well. So overall, all the um, all the rockets are pointing to the moon. This is just basically going to be another opportunity to be getting involved with FTM and stacking your bags. Okay, it's going to be a DCA scenario. That is going to be it for me, guys. I'm not going to ramble too much on about the um, about the TA side of things um, because uh, it. I mean, I've pretty much covered everything here, but um, there's definitely uh, definitely room for growth here for FTM. And if you were just to get into FTM here and just ride it up until the um, the high of this current bull market, which is obviously up here in March at $1.22, you're actually going to make 124% on your investment. That's 2.2x on your investment, guys. Okay, so you put in $10,000, you'll be walking away with 22 
thousand dollars <laughs> up to the um the bull market high right so pretty cool stuff uh, definitely an opportunity uh, for an investment there obviously i'm not a financial advisor you guys make up your own minds do your own thing but yeah just hopefully you found some value in this video thank you ever so much for watching drop a like if you could let me know in the comment section of what you think of ftm and um i'll get back to you as soon as i physically can <laughs> thank you ever so much for watching guys peace out and i'll see you in the next one